It was a warm summer's day in my office. I couldn't do the right accent, and the latest case had my head spinning. Kira. I took a potato chip and ate it. It was clear I'd have to call in help for this one, but there just weren't many options. L. Smart guy, but I'd never seen his face. Couldn't trust him. The ultimate detective. Still in high school. Couldn't bear to put the dame in harm's way. The Batman. This guy literally might be insane. But there was one last resort. Yeah. Hello, I'm Tyler, this is the Imaginary Axis, and guys, Death Note might be my favorite manga and anime of all time. To this day, it is the best depiction of a battle of wits that I've ever seen. A fantastic story about clashing ideologies and indomitable wills filled with so many clever twists and turns that, seriously, if you haven't seen or read it yet, pause the video and go do that now! The series follows Light Yagami, a high school senior at the top of his class who comes across a notebook that belongs to a god of death, or Shinigami. He quickly discovers that writing somebody's name in the notebook while visualizing their face will cause them to die. By heart attack to be exact, unless the method of death is specified in the notebook itself. Anyway, over the course of just a couple days, this newfound power transforms Light from an average high school student into the self-proclaimed god of the new world. A force that strikes down criminals and evildoers at every turn in an attempt to purge the world of filth and teach humanity that sins do not go unpunished. There will be justice, and his name is Kira. Of course, this eventually attracts the attention of law enforcement, world governments, and one brilliant detective in particular who manages to deduce the rules to Kira's game and actually poses a threat to his reign. So the battle begins to determine whose job it really is to dictate right and wrong. There's a lot I could get into with this series, from its commentary on modern day society and philosophy to its exploration of nihilism and its deconstruction of commonly accepted tropes. But one of the things that really caught my interest with the recent release of the American adaptation was the setting of the original Death Note story. Don't worry, this isn't going to be yet another video complaining about how L is black and Light's last name is Turner. I'm talking about the time period. You see, the original Death Note was set in 2003. The conflict between Kira and his adversaries carrying on for seven years into 2010. Conversely, this new adaptation is set in what appears to be present-day America, a nearly 14-year difference. So what's the big deal, I can hear you all asking? Well, in this 14-year interim, I think we mere humans might have grown beyond the Death Note. At least as it's used in the anime. I know, hard to believe, right? An artifact created by the gods? But keep an open mind here and let me see if I can convince you. By the way, what I'm about to go over involves a lot of day counting and critical Death Note events, which the manga and anime sometimes conflict on. So just for the record, the manga's timeline takes precedence since it's the source material. The anime will only be used to provide supplementary, non-contradictory details. Let's begin. Our story opens up on November 28th, 2017, and the events kick off almost identically to the original telling. I'm not gonna do something cheap like suggest a video camera would catch light picking up the notebook. Let's just say the first day and a half play out exactly how they would have in 2003. The real change starts here. The moment light decides to start killing off society's criminals. In the original story, it took six days for Kira's actions to warrant an international police meeting and grab the attention of L. But in this modern day adaptation, I kid you not, it would be one day before Light accidentally got the attention of an even more dangerous opponent. Wanna know who that opponent is? A detective even more brilliant than this guy? Well, hold on to your seats, everybody, because it's you. I'm talking about the internet. Yes, it existed in 2003, but it was a baby back then. Today, it's a behemoth and it would act as the world's first line of defense against Akira attack. I'm not joking, this is a hurdle Light has to master if he wants world domination. The internet used to be a place for select businesses and nerds. That was it. Back in 2003, roughly 11% of the world used the internet. Today, over 51% of the world uses the internet, and it's basically necessary for functioning in modern society. 
if you were posting something online in Death Note's original timeline, you might have been using a WordPress blog or a MySpace page, but most likely you were on a random PHPBB forum. There was no organization, no coordination, and most things were impossible to find. Also, your email was probably provided by your ISP or work. None of this stuff. Today, information moves fast. Opinions are shared everywhere, and they're easy to find. Communication is simpler and more widespread than ever before. And that would be a problem for light. Imagine a thousand theories about Kira's identity being circulated around the world the moment people started noticing a trend. You might be inclined to think this would make it even harder to find light, like a worldwide detective version of Twitch Plays Pokemon, but no. Studies have shown time and time again that when properly organized, large quantities of people excel at analyzing a problem, tossing out the poor solutions, and working their way toward the answer. And when you combine the notoriety of the Kira case, the availability of information to the public, the speed at which that information can now travel, and the massive quantity of organized online communities, Pepe may ruin Light's plans before even L can. Need proof? How about these guys? A Syrian rebel training video from YouTube was posted to 4chan on May 30th, 2016. And the internet was so outraged at this that they used the video to find other videos of the same camp, took note of five circuit suspension towers in the background, and were able to use the various angles of those towers to triangulate the exact latitude and longitude of the camp on Google Maps. They tweeted it out to a journalist with ties to Russia and had the location bombed. Less than a month later, they did the same thing to ISIS. Those were two secret training camps that multiple government agencies were looking for, casually tracked down by a group of random people online. There was also this time when the internet managed to track down the exact Burger King this picture was taken at and the employee that was stepping in the food. These times when the internet tracked down the addresses for two animal abusers and had them charged. And this time, when the internet very well may have uncovered the identity of a masked criminal who attacked this poor guy with a bike lock. Disclaimer, the suspect 4chan pointed out has not yet been properly tried. Who is this 4chan? The internet is actually so much better at solving problems than a single person that in order to speed up research on protein folding, the University of Washington released an online video game that reimagined modern biological research as a puzzle. Thousands of players working together managed to outperform the best current research software 8 out of 10 times. They then redesigned a synthetic enzyme developed by real scientists to make it 18 times more efficient and deciphered the crystal structure of a virus that had been unsolved for 15 years in only 10 days. Should Light be scared? Yeah, I think so. Like L, the only thing stopping the internet from solving most crimes is a general lack of interest or a lack of public information. Neither of those things are factors in the Kira case. Light's killings are purposefully designed to get people's attention and to get them talking. The information will always be public and the internet will start discussing it from day one. In fact, if events play out like they did in the original story, in under a week there's already a clear path narrowing in on light. The only difficult part is picking out the clues and putting them together. Something that would either take a very dedicated genius, or thousands of people digging up information around the clock and sharing it with each other and the police instantly. Does that sound like too much of a stretch to you? Where's the proof that the internet could scour all these tiny details even faster than L could? Shia LaBeouf. Do it! You may not know this, but Shia LaBeouf has been quite the political activist recently. He's set up a few live streams protesting Donald Trump, only for trolls from the internet to find his location every time and ruin the project. In early March, he eventually got tired of all the interruptions and turned the stream into this. Just a simple flag, blowing in the wind, at an unknown location, 24-7. Sounds foolproof, right? Wrong! Because the internet communities dedicated to trolling Shia literally tracked this thing down in a day by mapping the stars in the background, timing the sunrise, listening to animal noises in the area, and triangulating the exact location based on flight patterns observed by occasional airplanes in the sky. They sent a user out to the region they had narrowed it down to, and... In a day! And the worst part about this detective is that the internet is filled with people who will gladly mug light and probably even steal his stuff as evidence the moment they start suspecting he's Kira. None of that fair law and order stuff L sticks by. 
If 4chan thinks they can overthrow a god by ambushing a 17-year-old honor student, they'll do it. They wrote up detailed schematics about scaling a public museum in England to steal Shia LaBeouf's flag again after he made a new one. Okay, but Light would see them coming, right? I mean, he's a smart guy, maybe if Death Note happened in modern day, he wouldn't leave as many clues, or he'd even read the internet forums trying to track him down. Well, maybe, but remember how L was able to deduce that Kira needed a name and face to kill by day 7 at maximum? The internet would probably deduce this quicker, and the moment that happens, open discussion will probably die down among any group seriously tracking him. That's one of the beauties of the internet. These kinds of discussions can start by openly taking place everywhere, and then slowly move to silently taking place everywhere. When 4chan was trying to steal Shia LaBeouf's second flag from a museum rooftop, Shia actually logged on to 4chan to eavesdrop on any plans they might have, a tactic we can probably bet Light would use too. But they were expecting this. So they retreated into private Discord servers to discuss their real plans while posting fake leads on the open net that Shia was reading. <laughs> this L guy is pretty good. Once these conversations are closed off, that's it. From Light's perspective, it'll look like L and the police department are just way better than he was expecting, when in actuality, they have an army of citizens feeding them information about Kira. With these numbers and the events of the story, I estimate that within one week, segmented internet communities will know that Kira is an intelligent Japanese high school student with ties to the police force investigating him who can kill you as long as he knows your name and face. This is terrible for Light. As the police chief's son, he'll appear at the top of their suspect list just like he did in the original story. In the manga, it took him two weeks before he built a false bottom drawer to hide his death note in. Before that, he carried it around with him. Misa managed to find Light's address and personal information online with nothing but his name. So how long do you think it'll take the internet to track Light down, jump him, and find out he has a notebook with every victim's name in it? Just for the record, it took them one day to send people out to illegally scale a public building in Liverpool, England. Modern technology is amazing. It can bring normal people together to do some really incredible things. But it's also terrifying. Because this is not the greatest threat to Kira's reign. These guys are. You know, there are ways to figure out who Kira is besides tracking down his freely available MO. By keeping tabs on Light's activities, interests, habits, behaviors, and the changes therein, you can find things that begin to suggest he might be up to no good. But who would have that kind of information? Everybody. 80% of all internet users have a social media account. One sixth of the world uses Facebook. And if Light is anywhere among those numbers, he just becomes even easier to find. Modern social media logs everything you do. People you interact with, pages you like, friends, shows, even the exact words in your status updates. They then use that information to find out more about you. It's not hard. In 2012, researchers from the University of Cambridge and Microsoft managed to predict a person's gender, sexuality, age, race, relationship status, drug usage, religion, and political affiliation with 78% accuracy based solely on their Facebook likes. They were then able to repeat the test with a slightly lower accuracy percentage to determine the same user's intelligence, agreeableness, openness, emotional stability, satisfaction with life, and conscientiousness. Again, only Facebook likes. The actual company can do a lot more than that, a lot more effectively. Because no matter how private your settings are, these guys have been watching everything. Private accounts have been caught accidentally outing closet homosexuals and deducing that women were pregnant before even their families knew. They know your habits, your thought patterns, what kinds of things appeal to you and what kinds of things you hate. They can tell if you're a sore loser or easily swayed by emotions, how likely you are to take risks, how you feel about society, and if you meet the kind of profile a serial killer is displaying. We don't even know where their reach stops or what they're doing with all of our information. But we do know that they monitor you offline, too. They make ads based on what they know about you, they know when you've seen them, and they know when you've purchased things in the real world. 
This not only tells them what kind of marketing techniques you're susceptible to, but it helps them slowly build a more and more accurate profile about who you are. In short, the longer you've been online, the more somebody out there knows about you. And if you don't think the police will demand that kind of information to help track down an international serial killer, you're living in a world just as real as the virtual one. In fact, the police are known to cooperate with big companies for especially important cases. And if Facebook was willing to let L send a couple custom ads in Light's direction, he could find out more and more information about him in no time. No need to sit down at a diner and play mind games. No need to stalk him across school or challenge him to a tennis match. L could develop a thorough profile on Light Yagami without ever having a single conversation with him. And Light would never know. So fine, maybe Light would just quit Facebook in preparation for all of this. Along with Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Google+, Netflix, all of his online shopping accounts, fine, 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 fine. But if Light quitting all of his social media at once doesn't raise a red flag to the police, Google will just raise that flag themselves. This is one of the most powerful companies in the world. And we all know they're tracking our searches. But even if Light stops using them to circumvent this, Google has over an 80% share in the analytics market. Their analytics software is installed in over 10 million websites, including political sites, news websites, probably Kira fan websites. So those criminals Light thinks he's searching for in private? Google knows exactly when he looked them up, how long he was on the page, and what links he clicked on while he was there. Every time he watches a YouTube video, writes a Gmail, clicks on an ad, or uses any of the other Google services, Google learns more about who he is and hands that data out to the people who ask for it. In modern society, it's pretty inevitable. That light takes the L. When I started the research for this video, I honestly didn't know how it was going to turn out. I thought Death Note versus the internet was a pretty memeable topic and would be fun to talk about, but really guys, the things we've managed to do with this little 14 year interim are both inspiring and worrying. We might have created a tool even more powerful than the Death Note. And like the Death Note, that's all it is, a tool. Not good or bad, but controlling the lives of billions. Keep an eye on those trying to steal it and let's do our best to share this power together, fairly. It's a big responsibility. Hey everybody, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please subscribe to support the channel and share it around with your friends. I've got a ton of new projects I'm working on and they're all going to be coming out very soon. So have a great day and go do your thing.